$7.99. Like, crazy good deal. Hello. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Today we are going to be heading out to a few of the bulk food stores in my area. I've taken you all with me before to do this. I don't know, it was sometime last year. It's been a while since I've taken you with me. And in that video, I didn't really talk about the names of the stores I was going to. And a lot of you asked for the names. I did leave them in the comments and in the description of that video, but I thought, hey, I will create another one and we're gonna just give you the names as we go through the stores. So I live in central Pennsylvania. These stores are not all near my house. I'm gonna have to do some driving today to take you along with me to these different stores, but maybe one of them is close to you or within driving distance to be worth it for you to drive to. Most of these stores are a Mennonite um, bulk food store and they have a lot of bulk items, things like big bags of flour and big bags of oatmeal and other things like that. They also have discounted groceries, which is one of the things that I'm mostly going after today. I'm really stocked up on a lot of my bulk food things like flour and stuff like that that I keep in my food cellar, but I think that it's worth going to just get some of the discount groceries and maybe I'll find another good bulk food deal along the way. Today is a very toasty day. You're gonna probably hear me talk about how warm it is because I'm gonna be in and out of the car a lot and just trying to keep my groceries cold as we go along. Because like I said, we do have some driving to do, but I think that we're gonna find a lot of great deals and I'm excited to take you along with me. So let's head to the first store. The first store is Whispering Pines Country Market in Mount Pleasant Mills, Pennsylvania. And this is a really big store. And like I said, these stores are drive for me, so I don't always get to stop in here. It's been a while actually since I've been to Whispering Pines, but one thing I love about it is it is a bulk food store and it's also an overstock store or a food outlet. So that means that stores that have shipments that are too much, um, they pass it on to a outlet store like this and then they discount it and you're able to get it for a much cheaper price. So I always love looking through the discounted groceries and I saw these little miniature jam jars. They were so cute. I didn't pick any up just because I have a lot of my own jams and jellies that, that I make, but I just had to show them to you because they were adorable. And then I found these cassava flour tortillas in their freezer section. Um, that is one thing I really like about this store is they do have a pretty large freezer section for their discounted groceries. And I've been wanting to try out a cassava flour tortilla because it is gluten free, but they can be a little pricey. So it was great to find some that were discounted. And then they have a walk-in cooler area, basically a big refrigerator that you can go in and they have cases and cases and cases of discounted groceries that need to be refrigerated. So you can go in here and find things by the case. You can buy them by the item, but whenever they have things by the case, there's always an extra discount that's put on top of the regular price. So I have found really good deals on butter and other things like that in this room. And I always like to check it out. And then they have a full bakery. They can bake all kinds of delicious things here at Whispering Pines. And they have this entire shelf in their discount area that is like day old rolls and things like that where they may not be have been made that day, but you know, they may have been made the day before and you can get things at a super good price on that shelf. So I always like to check that out as well. Another thing I really like about Whispering Pines is you can find things that are more of a health food or in the health food aisle at a normal grocery store. Like I found these Lily's chocolate covered almonds they're like a stevia sweetened chocolate so I can find things that are gluten-free friendly and other specialty items that I would normally spend a lot more on at a health food store or a main chain grocery store and I also grabbed some of these pickled eggs 
I know might sound so odd to you, but it's something that we love. I grew up eating. I even make them myself at times, but they had a nice variety of flavors here. So I decided to grab some of those. And basically a lot of these bulk food shops get very large containers or pallets of certain foods and then they divide them into smaller containers and they're able to sell them at a cheaper price because they're buying the items in bulk. This store in particular does have big bulk bags of cereal. Not all of them do, but this one does. Um, I would say out of all of the stores that I went to, this one is the most rounded in the fact that it has a lot of bulk food items, like a huge variety of things that you may not be able to find in quite large bulk quantities at some of the other stores. They also get things in like chips that are seconds and things like that where you can grab those at a discounted price as well. And they also have Walnut Creek products. If you all watch Lynette Yoder here on YouTube, she partners with Walnut Creek a lot. They're out of Ohio. I believe they are an Amish or Mennonite owned company and they have so many good quality products we really enjoy walnut creek things as well and then this store i always like to point out has very very large quantities of bulk pasta um most of the other stores i'm going to go to have bulk pasta as well but uh, at this store in particular you can buy very big bags of pasta. So whether you're going to be putting them into mylar bags for long-term storage, or you have a wedding that you're cooking for, or another event where you need a lot of pasta, this really is a great place to get it. And then along with that, they have bulk grains and beans and lentils that you can get. And um, especially if you wanna do like your own canning project and you wanna can your own beans, this is a great spot to pick those up at. So for example, whenever I'm doing my baked beans, um, and I've shown you all how I make my barbecue baked beans and can them, this would be a place where I could pick up a lot. And they have a pretty big variety of different types of dried beans. And if you wanted to get like a 50 pound bag or a 25 pound bag of beans, you could pick them up here too. And if you're somebody that enjoys home canned foods but doesn't have time to do it yourself or just simply don't have the materials or the, the things that you need like a pressure canner or something like that, they have an entire line of their own home canned products like pickles and salsas and things like that. And so I've even picked this up whenever I've ran out of salsa um, in the off season and whenever I'm low on something in my own home canned goods. So one of the things that Whispering Pines is definitely known for in our area is their flowers. They have a large variety of flowers. If you are a baker or you make sourdough or you make bread, they have a huge variety of flowers that you can get in 25 and 50 pound bags. And so if you either have a small local bakery or something like that, a lot of people source their flour from this store. And just the massive variety they have in the flowers is really, really neat if you're looking for something in particular. Along with flour, they have other things in bulk like baking soda, baking powder, salts. Um, they even have things like almond flour and coconut flour if you're looking for like gluten-free helpful flours. They have those things as well in bulk and can order some in for you as well in large bags. It's a great resource to be able to order things. I've called them before and actually was looking for a specific product that they didn't even have in store, but they were able to source a bulk quantity for me and have it shipped in and I could just come and pick it up. They also have a lot of home remedy things, things like essential oils and tinctures and things like that, that if you are looking for, um, things that are more natural, natural helpers when it comes to health, this is a great spot to pick it all up at. They do have a freezer section that has meat and ice cream and other things like that that is not in the discounted section. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. 
All right, so I am done at the first store, and to be honest, it was a little bit of a letdown. I've definitely had better trips to that store, but I did find some good stuff that I can't wait to share with you. Whenever we get back, I'll show you the whole haul. So we are on to the second one, and we are going to be doing a total of four, like I said. So I'm hopeful <laughs> that we can find some things at the second store. And this one, I actually really like their deli, and so I wanna grab some deli meats um, to make some sandwich melts this week and usually their prices with their deli is really good. Okay, so now we are headed to l, &L Marketplace. That is in Middleburg, Pennsylvania. And this store is a great stop. I've been able to actually order a lot of bulk vegetables and fruit different years. I can call up and ask them if I can get a box of peaches or a box of potatoes and they can order it in for me if they don't have it already in store and I can get a usually a really, really good price here. Something else I like to check for at l, &L is yogurt. A lot of times they get different yogurts in. I don't know where they source them from, but they're like an overstock item. And then they are very much discounted. Um, and I'm able to stock up and I usually store them in my bonus refrigerator in our cellar. So these drinkable yogurts is something that my husband drinks almost every morning. I've already, I already buy them from a regular grocery store. So to find them at a great discount price was really awesome. And they also carry most of the bulk food things that any other bulk food store does. So things like some flowers, not as much as Whispering Pines, but some flowers, sugars, other um, baking items, chocolate chips, um, the melting chocolates, and just other things that they would get in a large quantity and then pare down into smaller bags to sell at a more uh, discounted price. And I also found some cheese. That's another thing that I have found before at LNL is rarely good prices on cheese that um, it's just they must have a good source to be able to get them from. They also have other grocery items that can be discounted as well. Found odds and ends here, but mainly the things I like to go here for is the deli things like cheese, yogurt, and then also buying uh, special order veggies and uh, fruit in bulk. And then there are times I've even came and they had discounted like strawberries that were kind of seconds and I was able to take them home and make jam out of them. Um, there's just a lot of little odds and ends that I have gleaned from l and Show me where the ending goes on Honestly, don't. I should be the last to know. Okay, so it is crazy busy today, but. I did score on some yogurts. I think you guys saw a clip of me loading them up and that was one thing I was gonna look for at that particular store because they often have yogurts. That's something I look for there. Another thing that I stocked up on was some cold cuts. There is a certain one that my daughters really like and I can get some there that is like a miscut, basically the imperfect versions of the lunch meat that they liked. So we are getting ready to head in to our third store. There is a couple of things I wanna look for in here. And it's kind of interesting once you go to these bulk food stores and you kind of know what they're known for, then that's what you know you're gonna be looking for. But it can be really hit and miss. I mean, sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. <laughs> but today, We'll see, we'll see how it all lands till we're done and all through all the stores. It is so hot out already and it's still morning and I have been putting stuff into cooler bags, but um, I definitely want to get this done as quickly as I can and get my grocery finds home 
and get them out of the heat. Now we are at Wanger's Grocery Outlet in Mifflinburg, Pennsylvania. And this store is one that I have shopped at for years and years. Even when my daughters were really little, I would find a lot of good deals here. Again, you can get case prices sometimes on things that are discounted. They have a great deli and then they have a lot of I would say shelf stable items like a tremendous amount of shelf stable items so if you're looking for discounted pasta and um like chocolates candy snacks any type of baking items they do have a bulk food area that does have a lot of baking items in it they occasionally do get some health food stuff in like whispering pines does can be a little more hit and miss with that um but i know that there are people that drive very very far um over two hours to come to this store it's a very popular um bulk food slash discount grocery store and these are so common in central pennsylvania in down towards lancaster there's a lot of these types of stores as well and a lot of times they are mennonite or amish owned and you can just find anything and everything you never know it's kind of like a treasure hunt you're probably going to be able to find something that you're happy you found at a discounted price from these types of stores i'm always torn between this type of shopping with the bulk food stores in central pennsylvania and costco's shopping because a lot of times with costco i have an idea of what to expect but with the bulk food stores, like I said, it can be hit and miss. You can't necessarily go with a list. You can go with a list that you're looking for, but you really don't know if you're going to find those things. And that was one of the reasons that I've kind of laid back on doing the bulk food shopping. I haven't done as much of it just simply because sometimes I end up spending more money <laughs> on things I wasn't even planning to buy anyways. So it's a give and take. It's not like it's a bad thing to do but at the same time i just have to be mindful of it okay so it is definitely summer activities time because everywhere has been so crazy busy it's just been wild even trying to film um and get clips without people in them just being respectful to people around me has been kind of hard so i'm sorry if this doesn't have an abundance of clips from inside the stores but i'm giving you the best shots i can today for sure so we're about to go into our fourth store and this store i really like to get um my produce from if there's a pick out of all four of these stores today i definitely like getting produce from this store um and there's a few other things that are my favorites as far as at this one. Our last stop was Davies Fresh Market in Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. And I love getting my produce here. Like I said, they have so many goodies, including bulk foods as well. All right, friends, it has been a day. We have a great haul here. I don't know if I'm gonna show you every little nitty gritty thing, but I did come home and do some price comparisons because there were some things I picked up that I'm like, I know that price is good. It's, I know it beats out, I'm sure, the original price, but I wanted to see what I really saved. I have something here that I saved if I have all of my guesses correctly here or have all my figures right, over $100 on. I know, I know. It's like a grocery item. So craziness, I will tell you in a moment. But all in all, I definitely saved a ton today. I'm gonna pull out some of my favorites um, as far as the savings and then we'll go into just like what all I picked up. So the price comparisons that I took off of were from Walmart. I feel like that's a pretty neutral ground when it comes to grocery stores and things like that. So um, something I got a great deal on were these Parmesan crisps. They are cheddar. These were at, I think they were at L&L. &L. <laughs> I don't know, I can't quite remember. It's not that it really matters because most of the time till the next week that store doesn't have the same thing again. But it came from one of the four stores I was at. 
and at Walmart these are a little bit over four dollars and I got them two for a dollar and I got two four six seven bags of those super good and for those of you that don't know I eat a lot of very low sugar um, things because of some health stuff and so some of these things are specialty items that I would pay a lot more or just don't really buy very often because they're expensive so being able to score some things like that is just so awesome along with that I have the new trail uh, no sugar added granola got this for a dollar 49 at wangers and I think that or it's the cinnamon pecan this here I think when I checked it is around six seven dollars a bag so great savings I got two of those basically when I find something that I know it's something I like have tried before um, and I know it's a really good deal I will buy whatever they have so they had two of these they had seven of these took with the last of them this was a little score you saw me pick up at Whispering Pines um, these here I think the last time I grabbed a bag of these at Target they were seven dollars a bag I think something like that they are stevia sweetened chocolate covered almond again a very specialty niche product I get it um, but for me this is a score because I don't eat chocolate generally that has sugar in it and so there were 99 cents a bag got three bags so exciting and then these were a great deal as well these if you saw on the sign when I was picking them up they were two boxes for six dollars there's eight in a pack and if you buy these individually in the grocery store they are a dollar fifty almost two dollars a drinkable yogurt so the fact that I got eight for three dollars awesome deal so exciting um, same thing with like these quest uh, bars that's something that's lower in sugar that I can have I don't remember exactly what I paid for those but very very little this here is an extremely specialty product it's gluten free it's like very low in sugar they are peanut butter sandwich cookies I paid $1.49 for this box there was only one it was like on a random shelf and I went on walmart.com you can get them on Amazon too they might be like a couple dollars cheaper on Amazon but these are ten dollars a box because they are like a protein cookie crazy expensive crazy stuff y'all crazy stuff again Lily's chocolate another stevia sweetened chocolate bar these are over four dollars in the store sometimes they're more depending on what store if you're at like a higher not higher end grocery store but like a main chain grocery store at like giant food store or Wegmans um, or Publix or something like that you're gonna pay anywhere from four to about six dollars per bar paid a dollar ninety nine per bar and I love mint and peppermint and these are a white chocolate peppermint um, along with the chocolate you, you, I'm just gonna keep rolling with the chocolate here I got Lily's chocolate chips again these are not the cheapest you're gonna pay five six dollars a bag generally and I paid a dollar fifty a bag for these so happy about that so let's move on from like the specialty snacky stuff except for I've got to tell you my deal of deals of all deals that I got today and I had a feeling I was literally standing in wangers and my sister-in-law's sister walks past me and she's like hey I haven't seen you for a while we got talking and whatever and I'm like I am looking at something that I'm pretty sure is like a crazy good deal crazy good deal that is these they're, they're the boxes are a little bit beat up I'm actually gonna open them up so you can see what's inside but it's the Archer provisions um, rosemary turkey beef sticks if you're not into beef sticks that's totally fine um, but it's just a fast way for me to get protein and Archer is actually something that we buy at Costco at times but they're usually the mini sticks and even there they're a pretty good deal um, but I went on Amazon because the price that Walmart gave me was like unbelievable I was like I can't like I'll tell you what the price Walmart was in a second but I went on Amazon because I was like that'll be a more even keel price probably for a box of 18 now this is a clean beef stick okay so they're expensive like usually if you're going to um, 
check out at a grocery store or you're at Whole Foods or you're at Sprouts or something like that. They might be up at the front and you may pay like $4, something crazy for the bee stick, especially if it's a full size like this. I paid $7.99 for this box. This box costs $44 on Amazon. $44, I got, there was a fourth box, my friend I saw took it, took the fourth one, and I got what was left because these are $7.99. Like, crazy good deal, they're not out of date, I double checked all of that. Crazy, crazy good deal, and they're an awesome thing that I can grab as a protein snack in the afternoon whenever I am forgetting to eat, because I do that a lot, and I just, and they taste good. Honestly, they taste so good. I test tasted one just to make sure that I would like them. They are delicious. They're better than some of the other meat sticks that I've had. Score, score. Like honestly, yeah, I mean, we're talking almost somewhere in the ballpark of like a hundred and what, $35, you know, somewhere around there for these three boxes. And I paid $7.99 a box. So that is my excitement. That is my score for the day. I am just, honestly, I could have walked away with the day with just this. That's one of the fun things of doing this. But as you can see, going about it with a list doesn't really work. So I like going to Costco because I know there's staples there. I can make my list. I can figure out my meal plan, go there and get a majority of the things I need. When I'm doing this, it's more just like fill in stuff um, whenever I'm getting discounted things. Now I can get somewhat of a list if I want to, but I'm not gonna be able to get like all these cool prices and stuff like that. So um, anyways, back to what we're talking about. So let's just zip through a few other things. The string cheese, super good deal. I forget, I think I showed it in the video, but this is 24 sticks and I wanna say it was 250, somewhere around there. Great price for a big bag of string cheese. I've got stuff all the way back here, guys. Um, I grabbed two of these. We've actually been liking these. They're a zero sugar um, lemonade and they have stevia in them. So that's a good natural sweetener. I love getting these eggs from Whispering Pines. There's some kids up the, sh the road that actually sell these eggs there. So I like to be able to support them. Now we do have some events going on this weekend, so I was kind of keeping that in mind, especially once I got to Davies, because like I said, I really like to get my fresh stuff there. I also like to get stuff at Whispering Pines as well, but with the heat today, I knew it was my last stop, and I knew then I would be making the trip home, in the, and I can turn on the AC on the trip home and keep everything as cool as possible. So I did get some snacky specialty things that I let my daughters um, pick out, we are gonna be going on a boat trip this weekend. Um, and then we are also going to be having a big like barbecue uh, with my family too. So a lot of things going on and this week was crazy for me. So being able to get some baked goods and these two, two of these places um, in particular have bakeries where they bake the bread or they bake the stuff right there. So worked out super great. But we got some snacky things back here. We've got like some gluten-free pretzels, some cheese curls, um, some kettle cooked potato chips. I grabbed these, these were a discounted item. Use a claw clip to keep them secure in the car because I was snacking on them. But they are like a cheese puff kind of thing, but they're made with coconut oil instead of seed oils because I don't eat a lot of seed oils. So those were really good. This was a great discount item, $1.85 for second day rolls and the girls eat those with like my homemade jams and things that I can myself. These cassava flour tortillas were in the freezer section at Whispering Pines. I think I showed me grabbing them out of the cooler. Super good deal for those. These are a pricier specialty item as well. We got some bags of sweet potato fries that were a good price. And then moving up here, the girls chose some little candies um, for going on the boat this weekend, uh, along with the boating. <laughs> Um, trip because we're gonna be gone all day and we're gonna be barbecuing in the evening after we're done with our boat rental and everything. So we've got some cookies, we've got some monster cookies and some peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. And then if you guys are 
from the PA slash Ohio area, you know these are a must. <laughs> that is whoopie pies. Very much a Mennonite Amish um, specialty, something that we grew up eating and always love. And they take a little time to make. I should do a whoopie pie video and just show you guys step by step how to make them because everybody should try a whoopie pie in their life. And they have to be like the good ones, okay? There's lots of fakes out there. There's lots of like counterfeits, y'all. Counterfeit whoopie pies. <laughs> Stuff that's not good. You need like the real good old Mennonite Amish recipes for whoopie pies. Um, I grabbed some corn that we'll probably make up for dinner tonight. I also got some cucumbers because I thought these would be great to slice up to take on the boat. And along with that idea, um, I also got some ring bologna and some cheese to like dice up. I got a smoked horseradish cheese. We love horseradish in our house and horseradish cheese, but I've never had it smoked. So I'm excited to try that. Some dill cheese. These came, these two came from Davies. The smoked horseradish cheese came from Whispering Pines and then a garlic vegetable yogurt cheese. And I'll just dice all of these up with the ring bologna for on the boat. We've got macaroni salad and potato salad because like I said, it's been a busy week, y'all. So I just haven't had time to prep everything for all the activities that we're doing. Um, the girls just wanted some crackers. We got crackers. These are a brand that we like. It's late July. And then these are the sea salt lime. They're so good. Um, I grabbed some pinto beans at Whispering Pines. Um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get a bigger bag than this. You all saw how great their bulk stuff is. And just decided to go with this. I want to can these myself. I need to have like a big bean canning day um, sometime. It's a good thing to do in the winter time whenever a lot of other stuff is out of season, but we'll see. So this was $3.22 for this entire bag and this will make a lot of canned beans. This is just the dry version. And we got oranges at Davies to do orange slices for the boat day slash picnic, all that. Something our family absolutely loves is these pickled eggs. And they had different flavors at Whispering Pines. So I went ahead and got these three. And then my daughter was like, mom, you have to get the jalapeno ones too. So we have jalapeno. I got into the mustard eggs because I was really hungry while we were in town and I wanted a little snack. And then I got red bee eggs. And then these are like a buffalo hot egg, which I'm so excited. I know if you're, you have no idea, if you've never tried pickled eggs, you're probably like, what? Ew. Don't knock it till you try it. It's one of my favorite snacks ever. Um, and then I think that's pretty much everything over here. And then the other thing I stopped at my friend Sherilyn Gingrich's house. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel, definitely need to go check that out. Um, but she made me some sourdough bread that I bought from her. I have not been doing sourdough. I actually think I successfully have killed my starter. I need to get another one from her. Um, but I just, again, it's been a busy season. So having people help me out like that, perfect, perfect, perfect. So that is pretty much everything, I think. I'm so thrilled with my haul. Oh, I didn't mention the ketchup. This was another super, super great deal. Um, this is the no sugar added ketchup. I, hate, I know, I feel like I'm like saying no sugar a lot, but it's just what I have to do for myself. And this is not cheap. I think that this is, I want to say, depending on the grocery store, depending on where you get it, I want to say this is at least $4 for this small bottle of the no sugar added ketchup. And these were a dollar five, I think, per bottle. So I grabbed six bottles and I'm gonna stick these in our cellar and I'll have some ketchup for myself. The others in our family generally eat the organic ketchup um, and that still has like cane sugar and stuff in it. So these little smaller bottles are just perfect for me. But either way, thrilled. I got some of the Sweet Lebanon Bologna. This is what I was talking about at l, &L. They are the only place I think in like all the places we went that slice the miscuts and Sweet Lemon and Bologna is extremely popular in our area, but it's kind of pricey. People really like it. 
And so being able to get something called a miscut, which honestly, these don't even look like the right size. Usually Sweet Lemon and Bologna is a lot bigger than this. So I think this is why it's considered a miscut. It's a too small of a cut, if that makes sense. So I can get it discounted there. And so I got three pounds of it. It's something that lasts a pretty long time because it's a high fat bologna. And yeah, I keep spotting little things that I maybe forgot, but I think we're good. I think you got the picture. I'm glad that you joined me today. It was so hot. I'm so excited for this weekend with as warm as the weather is gonna be. We are gonna enjoy the water activities, enjoy family, doing all the things together. And I've gotta get this stuff in the fridge freezer, all the places it needs to go. So thanks for watching today. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've ever visited any of these places or maybe you would like to. I'm glad I was able to just share my little haul, my little day with you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.